everyone and welcome to my channel. Today I'm going to be doing my designer bag collection, so if you're interested then keep watching. So after I shared my designer shoe collection, a few people asked me to do my bags and accessories as well. So I thought why not, so I decided to do the bag one today and then I will do the accessories one as well. If you haven't seen my shoe collection, I will leave the link below. So I have a few bags to show you. The first bag I wanted to show you is this Chloe one and this is the small leather shoulder drew bag i think that's what it's called it has leather and suede as well this is the bag that jay gave me so it was my last birthday he gave me this bag and it has like very smooth brown leather and then it has this beautiful green suede it has brown at the back as well and it comes with a golden chain and a golden lock as well and inside it's a light suede colour. Um, I love the style of this bag in general and I kept saying how much I love that style and Jay picked this colour. This bag literally fits with pretty much my whole wardrobe. I love wearing suede, I love wearing browns and beiges and you know very muted tones so this is perfect for me but it is a very heavy bag. I have to say that if you will put like your wallet, your phone and if your wallet has some change in it, then this will hurt your shoulder. Because it's just a chain strap, if you are wearing like an off-shoulder shirt or something like that, it is actually quite painful. So I try not to overload it. And the other thing is that this soft leather scratches really easily. I don't know if you can see, but I have a scratch here as already. I don't know if I did it with my nails when I was opening it, or you know, I did it some other way. This is what you get with soft leather and I'm okay with it because I love wearing it. I won't stop wearing it just because it scratches easily and yeah I I mean this this is one of my absolute favorite designer bags and yeah I love it. I don't know if you want to know the prices of these bags but maybe for those who are interested in those bags or interested in buying them I will let you know the prices. Um, I think this one is about a thousand 200 pounds or you know more or less but there are they also do them in full leather so yeah that's kind of approximately the price for you the next bag i have is my celine trapeze and this is the celine trapeze in vermilion color and i have had this bag for i think two years now because jay gave me this bag for my previous birthday so for my 24th birthday it's funny how he, he just keeps giving me purses but that's because he knows i love them and i always kind of let him know or hint him which ones i like so he gives me what, you know, he knows that I will definitely love. I love this bag. I have worn it non-stop for two years. When he just gave it to me, I was like, whoa, that's bright. Like, I don't really wear bright colors. But you know what? Actually, I realized that, you know, just a bright scarf or even like a bright sneaker, which I do have, goes amazingly with this bag. Or sometimes I just feel like a pop of color and I will take this bag and it just brightens up my day. In general, I love this bag because it comes with a shoulder strap as well as a handle. It fits a lot of things. I have no idea what's going on in this bag. I mean, there is a lot of things in this bag. I am not even going to show you because I have no idea what's going on in there. The textured leather is great because it doesn't really scratch or mark. And as you can see at the back, it's the same. The great thing about the flaps here, the suede flaps, is that you can actually put them in when it's raining or when you just fancy the back looking different, you can actually make it into like a little tote almost. But the fact that they are suede makes them mark easily. You can probably see here that it's gone a bit dark from the jeans that I wear. Just another bag that I really love. Next bag that I have is a Louis Vuitton Alma and this is the Alma PM in the patent leather and this is kind of the burgundy color or I think they call it the amarant, amarant color. I have a matching purse as you know a wallet as well for this bag and it also has a golden zip that goes all the way down from both sides. And there is also a lock and a little key that comes in this little pouch here that you can lock the bag with. I have had it for over three years now 
um, it only has the handles it doesn't have a shoulder strap but for me this is one of my bags that I usually go out with or if I'm going for a lunch uh, or you know it's it's more of a dressier bag for me maybe because it is in a patent leather so it's quite shiny I have to say that the bag is pretty much is in immaculate condition it needs a clean and a dusting but otherwise there are no scratches or anything like that so that leather is great for you know lasting a long time next bag that I have is the Gucci Soho disco bag and I have to say this is probably my most worn designer bag I have had this bag for maybe three years now three and a half years and yeah I mean I wear this bag at least two three times a week at least I just find it so easy to put it you know cross crossbody and you just pop it on, pop your wallet and your phone in and you're ready to go. Comes with a very long strap. Um, I usually wear it either crossbody or just on my shoulder and I mean it is a very simple bag. It's canvas inside and leather, textured leather from outside and then there are these tassels here and this bag was £650 and I remember buying it in London and in my opinion that is quite good value for money. I definitely got my wear out of it. I could not recommend this bag enough. If you're looking for a nice smallish bag then take a look at those they come in all kind of colors so you will definitely find one for yourself another Gucci bag that I have is this big black bag I couldn't find it on the Gucci side or to be honest I couldn't find it anywhere so I actually don't really know what is the name of this bag it also comes in this Soho um, leather as they call it so this textured black leather I bought this bag about three years ago and this is kind of my everyday bag if I want to just grab a big bag I have to stuff it with a lot of things there is a really wide shoulder strap but it also comes with a long chain strap but it has this little um, leather bit here so it will not hurt your shoulder like the Chloe one does for example if I'm traveling somewhere or if I'm going you know for a long day out I can, you know, put literally my yoga clothes in here, I can put, you know, everything I need. It's a perfect bag. I might as well throw in another Gucci bag. And this is a bit of a weird one, but I thought I will show you because it is a designer bag. And this is the classic Gucci canvas and this is kind of like a shoulder or crossbody and this is just the bag that I always take to the plane with me or I'm going to a casting and I need to put my portfolio somewhere this bag is perfect it's nothing special but I do like how simple it looks it comes with velcro kind of straps so it closes and it is it has lots of space inside for me this is one of those bags that kind of like grab and run I've had it for years and years and years and you can tell because it's like really really worn but I do still love this bag I think the canvas bags are not too expensive you know when you just have that bag that you've had for years and you just can't bring yourself to throw it away well this is one of those another bag that I wanted to show you that it might not be the designers that everyone hears about and knows about but it was quite up there in price so I thought I will throw it in and this is the Melly Mello Thela bag and this is in medium and I bought this bag actually it was this year that I got it and it comes in this beautiful grey textured leather and I have to say that I am so happy with this bag it was like the best purchase ever I was over the moon I still am I use it every other day seriously this is like my most worn bag at the moment it comes with a long strap and there there is like a padded bit here but you can also unlock the straps and make the strap shorter and the great thing about that that the handles here you know like they're usually turned this way well here they're turned like that way so you know when we girls wear our bags on the hand like that well it's much easier when the straps are turned this way I have no idea why designers did not come up with this earlier but I'm glad these guys did all the Melly Mello bags are quite nice I had no idea about this brand before and then I saw it in Havenix and I was like 
Hmm, I really like this. Let me take a look. But it's a fantastically made bag. The quality is incredible. So I, I seriously could not recommend it enough. It actually also comes with a pouch. But the pouch is somewhere there. I completely forgot about it and just remembered it now. So yeah, it comes with a pouch. So yeah, great, absolutely fantastic bag. Love, 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 love it. I have a few clutches to show you. And the first clutch that I have here is the Jimmy Choo leopard print clutch. And you can see the Jimmy Choo sign inside. I have to say, I don't wear it as much as I probably should. Maybe because it is leopard print. This was given to me as a present a few years ago. If I would have a choice, I would not pick this color. I would go for something, you know, quite bland, I think, you know, because I just do not wear color as much. And this is quite a bold statement in my opinion. But when I do fancy that bold statement and I'm wearing like a simple black dress or even a red dress on a day when I'm feeling really risky and you know, brave, then I will throw in this clutch. It's quite nice. Definitely not one of my favorite pieces of the designer bags that I have, but I do have it and that's why I'm showing it to you. Next clutch that I have is a Louis Vuitton one and I've got the pouch here as well. I do keep my clutches in pouches and this is the Louise clutch in glossy patent leather and then there is the golden Louis Vuitton sign that you just pull down and then it opens and yeah there are like pockets and compartments here i usually wear this bag when i go out on a dinner on something like that and i do not want to take a big bag so i will just put you know some credit cards and a lip gloss and my phone there and it's absolutely perfect and i just like the color because it goes with everything and it's just this very beautiful romantic um, dusty pink. I have a little Dolce Gabbana bag here that I keep in a box and this is the Dolce Gabbana phone bag that I got in Milan last year so I've had it for about a year and it comes with a golden chain strap and then there is this teeny weeny tiny little handle that you can carry it by. If you follow me on Instagram you would probably see this bag quite a lot because I do wear it quite a bit. If you don't follow me on Instagram follow me right now and then basically it is like a wallet inside so you can put all your credit cards here then the phone literally slips here which is perfect and sometimes I actually even manage to stick a gloss in between and close the bag so it's one of those bags that you only take the necessities with you. I got it in this textured beige color which is very easy to wear. I usually go for classic colors with expensive bags just because I don't have all the money in the world to splash on every color. I want the colors to be quite neutral so I can get my wear out of them. Another little bag that I have is the little Chanel bag and this is the only Chanel bag that I own. I do not have a boy, I do not have a flap, I do not have the classics ones. I have not saved up for them yet but you know one day this is not my ultimate goal in life and if I will never get a Chanel boy I'm sure that I will survive because for the, at the moment I just cannot justify paying three thousand pounds for a bag I mean that is a lot of money you can buy a car for that money you can buy a few cars if you want to the one that I do have and I'm very lucky to have is the little phone bag and again it is one of those little bags that you just put your phone in or credit card so I've got it in white patent leather and then it has the logo here it comes in a silver chain with like leather going through it and then it has a white strap. I actually have it tied here because I wanted it a little bit shorter because I was wearing it on a shoulder rather than cross body. But yeah, I mean it's very simple, not much fits in because it is quite tight. But a phone, credit card, a lip gloss or a lipstick, I do quite like it. I actually wear it quite a lot with sneakers or trainers because I do think that that white patent leather is quite sporty. And the last bag I have today has more of a sentimental value rather than money value. But at the time it was quite expensive and this is the first kind of designer bag that I bought myself and this is the Longchamp Apache and it has like this suede leaves all over it and I remember buying it in France when I was studying in France for a year 
and everyone had a long champ, you know, everyone, all French people that I knew had a long champ. And I was like, oh my God, I really want to be like them. I want to be French. I want to look like that. So I went and saved up like my student money and I remember paying 400 euros for this bag or something like that. And it was a lot of money then and I still have it and I still wear it. It's an amazing bag. To be honest, I wish I would go for the longer strap, but I remember they did not have them. But otherwise, it's an amazing bag. I mean, you do, you really can fit a lot of things. So yeah, not the most expensive bag that I own. I do still consider Longchamp a designer, so that's why I decided to throw it in. And I do kind of have an attachment to this bag, so I do think I will keep it forever and ever. So that was actually it for today. Thank you very much for watching. I hope you enjoyed this video. Do let me know what was your favorite bag. Don't forget to subscribe to my channel and I will see you soon in my next video.